Good evening, everybody. Here we are in the Ernst Happel Stadium in Vienna with Russia and Spain going head to head for the right to meet Germany in Sunday's final in this very same stadium. So, over 50,000 people here under a cloudy sky. And to be honest, we're all praying, praying that the heavens don't open as they did last night. Silva. David Silva, the ball is a good one to David Villa, and then it's into Torres, Fernando Torres, he turns and he gets a shot through, saved by Akin Feyer. David Silva. The chances here, Spain, they've fallen around the edge of the 18-yard area, and Akin Feyer down to make the stop, though Iniesta will perhaps pick it up now or he may get a free kick from the challenge no just a throw in David Villa looking to add to his four goals already struck in the tournament it was swerving and Akin Feyev adds another save to that growing tally Pavlyuchenko well it was a, a thrilling try he thinks there should have been a corner awarded to Russia the replay will tell us more. He really did curl that one around. Oh, or did the goalkeeper maybe get a finger to it? Casillas. He certainly did. But uh, David Villa is the one who's got a problem here for Spain. The goal scorer, the uh, top goal scorer in the entire competition, Villa. And Fabregas is ready to come on. So it looks as though it could be the end of the tournament even for the top scorer. Bearing in mind that this is Thursday and the final is on Sunday. Could be a precautionary measure, but David Villa will not be adding to his goal tally this evening. Back with the action, a ball across from Ziriano to Pavlyuchenko! Well, he got in there, Puyol staring at him as if to say, how on earth did you do that? Chipped across here for Torres, does well to even take it down and then go for goal. He creates chances out of nothing sometimes, Torres. And uh, the possession has been absolutely even. 50% apiece as uh, the referee sends the players away, back to the tunnel, we are as we started here. Casillas performed his heroics in the shooting out the other evening against Italy. He hasn't had to perform too many heroics so far tonight, Ike Casillas. Save those penalty kicks from uh, Daniele Di Rossi and uh, Di Natale. Xavi, Sergio Ramos, then Marcos Senna, who played for five different Brazilian clubs before trying his luck in Spain and prospering. Xavi's got it wide to Iniesta here now. It's uh, Andres Iniesta, and still Spain have a goal! A goal to celebrate here. Xavi Hernandez on the end of Iniesta's ball. Spain lead inside 50 minutes in Vienna. And is this the moment that they start to dream about a final date with Germany? Xavi Hernandez, the man who got the winner against the United States of America in a friendly recently, it was earlier this month, the man who scored four times in qualifying. Xavi. Lovely moment for him. Now Silva, Russia on the back foot again here now. And Silva, very skillful. He might get the return, or Torres might. And it's over the bar. Side-footed by Torres. Just didn't dip sufficiently, but it's classical Torres, this. He opens the body. Across here for Fabregas. Tries his efforts from long range and the fists of Akin Fayev. Make sure the ball flies over and not beneath the bar. 
Viljadinov. Sichev, no way through there. So Spain will try again through the middle. Silva, stretching the play wide for Gifa's involvement. Spain are four up around the 18-yard area. Ramos, Fabregas, Gifa, and it's into the net, and Spain may be into the semi-finals. Beautifully contrived goal, and there's the archer. And the Spanish archer, Danny Geith, has got his second international goal in just his seventh appearance and has surely ended Russia's involvement. Goal number 10 of these European finals for Spain. It's not only nail-biting for the Russian supporters, I think it's uh, goodbye Vienna. I could do with one right now. Senna and Xabi Alonso and Capdevila and Iniesta. Oh, passing it beautifully, and Fabregas here. He can either go on himself or he can lay the ball across. It might be three. It's sumptuous. It's beautiful football, and Silva has surely sent Spain into the final now. David Silva and Fabregas again at the hub of things. How on earth can Aragones leave him out of the starting lineup? They know they've got a date of destiny with the Germans in Vienna on Sunday. And it's been a vintage Spanish showing in the second half. David Silva gets his third international goal, but his first of the championships to put an end to Russia's misery. Russia with a hope here, maybe. Oh, Casillas beats it out, and Sitchev must have thought he was a certain scorer there. Dmitry Sitchev with the header. And Casillas simply is not to be beaten. They're into double figures. And here goes Geetha, and he's got it down. And the save is made by the feet of Akin Feyer, the overworked Russian goalkeeper. They've waited 24 years, Spain. <laughs> you wouldn't tell by their faces, would you? But it is a Spanish night. A triumph in Vienna. The Russians will leave the scene now to the victors who take all the spoils. Those pictures tell the story. The story behind the scoreline of the semi-final in Vienna, which was Russia 0, Spain 3.